Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Ali, and today I am bringing you three cool news regarding of Oddworld. First off, Oddworld inhabitants and Microid have signed a deal to make a physical version for Oddworld Soul Store, and it will be for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. So, that's really cool. And yeah, it's, it's still by Microid. They're making the physical copy of it, so I'm not really sure if it's if it's still going to be like available only on the online shop. But yeah, that's the news about Oddworld Soulstorm. The second news I want to talk about is that Oddworld New and Tasty has now been officially announced for Nintendo Switch. If you remember, a month earlier, I just talked about a video where ESRE leaked that Artwell New and Tasty will come to Switch. And so, yeah, a month later, now they officially announced it. And, yeah, well, what can I really say about it? It's a cool trailer, first off. Uh, but you know, I think I wanna, I wanna rec go back to uh, new and tasty on Switch and analyze the trailer later on because there is something that I think we should talk about the main trailer itself. Yeah. So, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, new taste on Switch is coming in October, both digital and a physical version yes there's also coming a physical version for new and tasty and it's pretty much the same as the one with Manchester Odyssey and Strangers Red it contains the stickers and a keychain but they haven't specifically detailed when in October it's coming so yeah now the third one I want to talk about is that well I think it's a bit early I'm talking about it but I think I should talk about it anyway. Um, now, a lot of Oddworld fans are currently trying to reverse engineering Oddworld Apes Odyssey and Oddworld Apes Exodus to run in a modern engine, like basically in a 64 bit program. Which is, yeah, this could, is in, very interesting. I'm very interested in that. First of all, this is unofficial, it's not affiliated with. Art, art wall inhabitants at all it's just a fan project so on reddit they have just talked about it and there here you can see they've made a website where they're showing the progress with how much they've gone through reversing the engine of apes odyssey and exodus so as you can see here they are trying to reverse in an engine called Real Live, which is the new engine of a live engine, and it's just much better than that. And here they have pretty much made a um, statistic of what they have finished. As you can see, the green one are the one that are done, the yellow one are the one that are in progress, and the red one they haven't really done that yet but are planning to do that and if we just scroll down we can just see what they have planned to do with the reversed version of Odyssey and Exodus well so first we have, they're saying that we have a sneak peek of more platform I'll go into that later and they're saying you're going to add cuts subtitles for cutscenes, which is cool. They're fixing the original game Spock. Hopefully, they're not gonna fix the ledge trick because this is a cool trick. Modding support, which will make it easier for modders to put in mods. Level edit editors, which is awesome, like an in game editor. Higher resolution textures. This is the one I'm mostly excited about. Because I think Odyssey and Exodus has such amazing graphics. But I think it's really a shame that it's a little bit pixelated. So it's awesome to see it's getting upscaled. 
and feature, of course, by the community. So yeah, so fans could literally just request what they want to see in the new version of Odyssey Next Studios. So let's go to the sneak peek. So we actually got a really cool sneak peek of the the port and as we can see here someone has actually made a native switch port of Exodus and this is not an emulator it's running naturally on Nintendo Switch which is so cool well technically I didn't told it to you yet but I can also run Exodus on my Switch but I'm basically emulating it but this here you see it's running uh, natively on switch so well you may think what's the difference with playing Exodus on switch natively or just emulating well just look what it has changed because I just paused it right here so as you can see the developers, ha the developers has actually added. Wait, hold on. The developers has actually added a new button that is called Developer, which is super cool. This is not in the original game, and as you can see, they've added options, cheats, and level select. So as you can see, we now got a glimpse on how the option looks like, and we have sound mode, reverb aspect ratio and screen filter so as you can see that he just showed off as an example of the aspect ratio he can basically just stretch the screen and just to fit the screen of the switch which is cool now I don't really know by looking at it right now I don't know if the game has now been upscaled now but I don't know about that but I'm really, really excited to see how this is going to turn into. Alright, so let's get back to the trailer for Artwell New and Tasty for Nintendo Switch. Now, the reason why is because when I watched the trailer, there was, some, there was a little detail that bothered me a little bit up about how this port is going to turn out. Uh, let me show you. So... Oddwell, new and tasty. Uh, if we scroll here. Okay. okay. Uh, hold on. Let's slow down the video a little bit. Pretty clear claim recipe. Okay. So, as you can see here, Abe is running pretty normal. As you can see here. However, later on, his animation begins to turn low budget. Not here, not here. Uh, but here, as you can see. Now this went really fast, so I think I need to slow down the video much more. Okay, so it still went a little bit fast, but as you could, as you probably saw, his animation was looked a little bit more low budget than here, as we saw. And this is the exact same way how they did this for the mobile port and the PlayStation Video port. And this is what bothers me, and also confuses me because. Like, is the Switch really that uh, slow on hardware that they really need to turn Ape's animation in low budget? And okay, I think I need to mute the video because this, this hurts my ear. Uh, and we also see it again somewhere around here, not here. 
Um, just a little bit later on. No. Okay, yeah, here. You see it as well. And here as well. Now, the weird thing, they make a very small cut of him running with that low budget. I don't know, probably because they want to hide it from people. Uh, oh yeah, also here. Also, his chant animation is low budget as well. And... And he, yeah, okay, I think... Here we can get a really clear view of his low budget animation. I think he's in the way. Let's scroll a little bit back. Yeah, look how AP is running compared to like in the first one. If you, if you can't see a difference, let me just show you now. Uh, okay, look at his animation now. Then look at this one. You can see this one is a lot more smoother. So this is very confusing. Like, how is this going to turn to be? Like, is Ape's animation going to be high quality or low quality in Switch version? That's what's going to confuse me. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the Switch port is going to turn out. Because if you remember, last year I made, made a spec theory theorizing how new and tasty would run well on the Nintendo switch and my result that I said that new and tasty was going to run in 60 FPS with mediocre graphics and judging by the trailer it seems like I could be right but I think we need to play the game itself before approving my theory so yeah that's all I have to say Thank you all so much for watching and what do you think about all these three news. If you like this video, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.